Crocodilian. Hey, everybody! I love swimming with sharks. Oh, yeah. Did you know that sharks have lived on Earth for millions of years? They were around even before the dinosaurs roamed the planet. And that's way before humans showed up. And the awesome part is that they haven't changed that much in all that time. Some creatures just never change. What's this? We weren't expecting a package. Wait, yes, we were. This must be the part for fixing the time machine. Of course. Let's call Zabu. He'll help us open it. Zabu! 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 That's him over there. Come on in, buddy. Hey, Zabu! He's here. Hey, Zabu! You want to help us fix the time machine? We just got the part we needed to fix it. You know Zabu, no greets till he eats. I know just what a leaping lemur likes. Walnuts. Leap over here, buddy. <laughs> there you go, Zab. He loves walnuts. Give me some of the Hi, I'm Vuki. And I can't wait. Let's get to that time machine. It's fixing time. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the part? I'm ready to help here. Brothers, hurry up. Okay, yeah, I think it goes right in there. Yeah. Yep. Right in oh, here? Careful of my nose. <laughs> Perfect! Well, I sure hope it's working all right now. Yeah, you don't want to be in a time machine that doesn't work right. Manga, Sika, fixing things can sure make a lemur belly hungry. <laughs> I love walnuts. They're so nutty, and their round shell is all wrinkled like... <gasps> like a creature I saw today. Bill Sinza. Can you guess? Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, when I saw him, he low belly crawled into the water. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. mouth was huge, with lots of spiky white teeth. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A belly crawling, big toothed creature. Do you know who he is? A low belly crawl. Lots and lots of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Martin got splashed by a manga tzika. American alligator. Nice splash. Manga tzika, mystery animal is here. Huh? <laughs> that looks like fun splashing around like that. I gotta get in on that. Watch me, brothers. Watch how I get in. I call this my full twisting, leaping lemur half cack dive. Bob, wait. Here I come. Uh -oh. Whoa. <laughs> I smell mud. <laughs> Sabu, it's a good thing because you don't want to jump in the water with an alligator. You always have to give a creature a space, especially an alligator. He can be one dangerous creature. He has a big mouth. It's great for grabbing all kinds of prey. And he can open it wide. An alligator's a great swimmer and can be 16 feet long. That's twice as long as your bed. This is one powerful creature you gotta love, but you don't wanna mess with. Wow, she's incredible. She must be eight feet long. That's about twice as long as me. <laughs> I think it's four Zabu's long. Mm. And look how her body is covered in scales. We have big scales along her back, and then the scales become like triangles down her tail. 
And then all around her arms right here, the scales get really small. Wow, I don't have any scales. I have fur. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at her eyes. Yeah, she has two eyelids, Sabu. One is clear for seeing uh -huh. underwater, uh -huh. and the other is like yours and mine. Wow. Chris, Chris, look at her feet. She's got long claws. Yeah, aren't they incredible? Those huh. claws, they're for digging. And between her fingers, you uh -huh. can see webbing. That helps her swim. Wow. All right, now take a really close look at the alligator. She's completely underwater, right? Uh -huh. Except for one part. Her nostrils, they just stick a little bit out of the water so she can stay hidden underwater but still breathe. Oh, good idea. That way she doesn't have to hold her breath the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> now, Zabi, look at that tail. Uh -huh. That tail is about half of the alligator. Wow. That tail helps her swim through the water and helps her splash Martin. Yeah, that's how she did it. Oh, Chris, Martin, I got an idea. I'm gonna call her Whipper, cause her tail's so good at whipping around. <laughs> Excellent name, Zabu. Whipper the alligator. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. There's somebody else here. Yeah, and you look just like Whipper. Yeah. But you're smaller. You must be a baby. Hey, guys, guys, look. I found a baby alligator. Wow. That's right, Zabu. She's a young one. She's probably only about a year old. Manga Sika, you're neat. I'm gonna call her Whippet. <laughs> well, isn't Whippet really prehistoric looking? Prehistoric? Like a dinosaur. <gasps> guys, 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 my mind just got an idea. I'll bet Whippet was around when dinosaurs were around. Well, actually. No, no, no. A... Don't tell me. I'm gonna figure this out myself. Hey, maybe you can help. What do you think? The time machine? Yeah. Wow. Okay, brothers, let's use the time machine to go back millions of years. <laughs> Sounds like a trip to me. Well, I think Whippin and I should stay here and make sure the time machine gets you back okay. All right, Sabu, start it up. Okay. Time to time travel. We're traveling through time. <laughs> here you go, guys. <laughs> Where'd they go? It worked. <laughs> They're somewhere in the past. <laughs> Where is the past? Oh, there they are. Hey, you're back in dinosaur time. Oh, the time machine says that's caveman language for cavemen weren't around when dinosaurs were, but Chris and Martin are different. They're time traveling cavemen. <laughs> hey brothers, you see any alligators? Oh, it's a real dinosaur, yeah. Duck-filled dinosaurs? Ooh, wow! A giant alligator! <laughs> Guys, I was right! Alligators were around back then. Except they're as long as a bus. Well, don't worry, brothers. I'll bring you back to the present. Okay. Hurry! <laughs> You're back! Yeah! That was amazing! And you know, you were right. The alligators did roam around during the time of the dinosaurs. Except they were super huge. But everything else about them stayed pretty much the same. Hmm. And there aren't many creatures you can say that about. But you can say that about the sea turtle. Her kind has been around for millions of years, just like her cousin, the snapping turtle, who lives in rivers and lakes, not the ocean. And speaking of water, a lot of ocean creatures haven't changed much, like a jellyfish. And of course, the awesome shark. And don't forget about insects. They haven't changed much for millions of years either, like a dragonfly. And this beetle buddy, the cockroach. Oh, hi, hey, Whippet. Whippet? Oh, that's not Whippet. Wait a second. If Whipper's in the pool and Whippet's in the pond, who are you? Well, I know, I'll call you Whippersnapper, but who are you? Are you Whipper's brother? He's not Whippet's brother, Zabu. He's another type of crocodilian. Crocodilian? You got it, buddy. Whippersnapper is a caiman. And Whippet is an alligator. But both are reptiles in the family of crocodilians. You see, there are different types of crocodilians in the crocodilian family. For example, there's the spectacled caiman. Then there's American alligators like Whipper, 
And of course, there's the powerful Nile crocodile. My mind's confused. How can you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Great question, Zabu. When an alligator or caiman has his mouth closed, you can't see any teeth sticking up from his lower jaw. But when a crocodile closes his mouth, you can see some teeth sticking up from his lower jaw. See them in those grooves? Think about it like this, Sabu. Hmm. You're a safaka lemur, right? Yeah. And little leaper is a ringtail lemur. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we're both part of the lemur creature family. And, and alligators and caimans are part of the crocodilian family. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Get really low on your belly. Walk like a caiman. Part of the crocodilian family. Family? Hey, that reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into Sense it. Oof! Hi, Sabu. Hi, Sense it. Oh, Sabu, I'm sad. Why, Sense it? Oh, because I don't know what kind of a creature I am. Well, gee, huh? sense it. No, I thought you were in the oh, lemur family. Me? A lemur? No. Well, I do have grabby hands. Uh, that's right. Uh, and you have big, big eyes, uh, too. Uh, and a nose that can really smell. Oh, that's right. I can really smell good. And you have amazing ears. Oh, that's right. That's right. And I love leaping. I must be in the lemur family. So us two lemurs spent the day uh, leaping around Zabumafuasaurus. Uh, and we had fun. Uh, lemur fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the uh, end. <laughs> that was a good story, Zabu. Well, thanks. I'm a pretty good storyteller. I'm also a good time machine runner. And my mind is telling me that caimans were huge creatures in the time of the dinosaurs, too. You sure, Zab? Yep, yep. That's what my mind is telling me. Well, let's see if your mind is right. To the oh, time oh, machine! Oh, ah, to the time machine! <laughs> let's go, guys. Can't wait. Ready? Here we yep. go. <laughs> hey, it worked again! No caimans anywhere. I guess the caiman type of crocodilian wasn't around with the dinosaurs. Uh oh. Well, those dinosaurs are close. That T Rex sees them. Well, he's after Martin and Chris. Well, we better do something. Oh, well, no, it's blowing up. Well, where's my drill? It's it smoke. Oh, no. Let me try this. <laughs> you made it back! Oh. Whew, thanks, Abu. That was close. I really didn't want to end up as T-Rex's dinner. Yeah, it's a good job I had my drill. But we did find out that some crocodilians were around during the time of the dinosaurs, and others weren't. Hey, guys, you know what? Whippet is in the pond, Whippersnapper is over there, and Whipper is out of the pool! That means I can go swimming! <laughs> Hey who, hubba hubba, here I come, in the water! <laughs> I feel kind of crocodilianish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. But this kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel crocodilianish. How about you, crocodilianish? I feel crocodilianish. Crocodilianish! I'm a cool crocodilian who's always been around. <laughs> Low on the ground. Crocodilianish. <laughs> I wish I could fix it for good. Duck? Oh no, a duck can't fix the time machine. Ducks are always late. No, duck! A golden eagle. I can't believe my mind. Your wings are longer than, well, than my whole body. Golden eagles have such huge wings. Her wingspan is six feet wide. Check it out. Whoa. Hey, and look what he left. A message from the animal helper. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. Hey, look what I found. Horseshoe crabs. 
These horseshoe crabs are incredible. They haven't changed in more than 300 million years. They were on the planet way before the dinosaurs. All of the horseshoe crabs come to this bay to meet. The males are the smaller ones. They grab onto the female's tail. The female lays her eggs on the beach in wet sand as she drags the males behind her. After the eggs are laid, the crabs go back into the water and swim away. And in a couple of weeks, the eggs hatch and the baby horseshoe crabs go into the water. Hey, turn off your motor, please. Horseshoe crabs are nesting here. You should always switch off your motor when you're this close to any water creature. If we want these amazing prehistoric creatures to stick around for the next 300 million years, we'd better give them their space. It's so, so Mungazika! You know, Chris, I was thinking. I think what? you were thinking what I was thinking. Sounds like a trip to me. To the closet! <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> Righteous. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and Let's they're go. headed out the door. See you later, Zob. Bye. We're here in Africa, looking for one of the largest crocs of all, the Nile Crocodile. When you're looking for creatures, the river's a great place to look. Hippos! Incredible. They're one of the most dangerous creatures in Africa. Hippos have one of the widest mouths around. Wow, hippos are incredibly territorial. They'll attack anyone who trespasses on their stretch of the river. So, we better give them their space. Let's paddle! He's after us! Go, Martin, go! I'm going! Whoa! Whoa! What was that? I don't know. But I do know one thing. We've sprung the leak! The hippos are still on our tail. Bail out! Head for shore! <laughs> Whew, that was close! Yeah, but these guys are even closer. Oh, the Nile crocodiles. They're everywhere. We have to make our way through this maze of crocodiles. Let's head that way, Martin. All right. Oh, we're right there. Chris, there's one right over there. There's one in the water here, okay? So <laughs> there's a big one over there. <laughs> there's Nile crocodiles everywhere. Let's head this way. <laughs> oh. Luckily, these crocodiles are resting in the sunshine to bring up their body temperature, so we can slip right on by. Chris, I found a path. Come on. All right, let's see. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Not going that way. Looks like they're eating something, Martin. Yeah. Crocodiles gather together whenever there's something to eat. They all get together and compete for the food. I don't think we're going to compete with them. Let's find a different place. Can't go that way either. There's got to be a way through these crocs. Not that way. <laughs> that way. Whoa, big croc to the right. Shh, let's just slip right by him. <laughs> Keep your eye for the crocs. Watch out behind you. Looks like there's one more crocodile to get by, but he's a big one. Easy, easy. <laughs> All right, we did it. <laughs> we made it through the maze of crocodiles. Let's head back to Animal Junction. Now all we have to do is watch out for lions. Yeah, they could be anywhere. Ooh. Did you hear that? Yeah, just keep on walking, bro. I don't hear Sabu. Me neither. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> nice shot, Sabu. Oh, thanks, brothers. Look who's here. It's a giant hamster from millions of years ago. He 
He's not a giant hamster. He's not? <laughs> but, well, I thought that since Whipper was a lot bigger millions of years ago, that this must be a giant hamster visiting from a time machine. But Zabu, the time machine's broken. Oh, so this is definitely for sure not a hamster. Nope, he's a capybara. <gasps> capybara! Mangatsika, my mind just remembered. I know you. You came to visit before. Uh, I just forgot because I thought you were a giant hamster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better not call you Hampy anymore. <laughs> How about I call you, uh, um, Cappy? Cappy the Capybara. <laughs> hey, look at the way he's sniffing. Yeah, yeah try it. <laughs> he kind of blows out his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, Mangatsika. he's cooling off his behind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sitting right in the mud. <laughs> you can tell he's happy now. Yeah. He's happy because the capybara needs mud and water for survival. The mud keeps his body temperature cool on hot days in South America, where he lives. A capybara lives in herds, and on a hot day, the whole family likes getting in on the action. Well, the capybara's finished wallowing in the mud, but we haven't even started. Everybody into the mud wallow. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Mud's an important part of lots of creatures' lives. It feels good on hot skin and protects them. And hey, it's fun to fall. Right, Chris? Yeah, I never pass up a good mud puddle. <laughs> How does it feel, Zabu? Yeah, and it feels so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and you know, copy bars love the mud because it keeps them cool. It keeps the bugs from biting them. Mud Gatsika! Yeah. <laughs> hey, Zabu! Yeah? Remember when you hit me with that mud ball? Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Where's Chris? Oh, I got mud in my eyes. I can't see. There he is. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Woo! God. Oh, this is so relaxing. I see why you like it, Cappy. Cappy bears are very alert creatures. They're always on the lookout for predators, like black caimans who love to hunt them. Try walking like a Cappy bar. They got a really cool way of moving. Get into the Cappy bar a moving groove. Right through the mud. <laughs> This reminds me of one time in Zabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. And then I saw something that made me not believe my mind. Baby Zabumafuasaurus was throwing something with his mouth. And that something was Sai. Again. Hey, Zabu. This giant lizard still thinks I'm a ball. <laughs> baby, Sai <laughs> is not a ball. Uh, not a ball? And Sai, uh, baby Zabumafuasaurus uh, is not a go? big lizard. Uh, He's a dinosaur. A dinosaur? Yeah. Well, they've been around for a really long time, haven't they? Yeah. Yes, they have. Yeah. But I can show you somebody who was in Zabuland first. First in Zabuland? Lead the way. It's Phoebe. She's been around hey. since Zabuland was all covered in water. Hey, Zabu. Hey, hey. Say. Do you want to come underwater and see what Zabuland used to look like? Well, sure. We'd all love to come look underwater. <laughs> yeah, okay. I want to come too. Whoa! So we all jumped in and saw what a great place Zabuland must have been when it was all covered in water. The end. <laughs> you and your pals in Zabuland sure have a lot of fun, huh, Zabu? Oh, yeah, we have fun a lot of the time. What am I saying? We have fun all the time. And time traveling was great. I'm just glad you got us back in time. Otherwise, we would have missed the capybara. Thanks, Zab. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today See ya! 
See you later. Bye, Bye Zabu. Zabu. Hey, and we better go and get a new part for our time machine. Yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Hi, my name is Dylan, and this is a banty rooster named Hans. I'm really psyched for this. Yeah, it's time for action. You have all the stuff? Everything. Today's the day. We just can't put it off any longer. Yeah, I know. Oh, where'd he go? Oh! Sometimes a creature adventure has got to do what a creature adventure has got to do. Everybody keeps asking us, when are you guys going to clean out the closet? Today's the day. Yep, it's a big job, but we're up for it. Ready, Martin? Ready. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. My spare bike tire. I wonder where this had gotten to. It's a good thing we decided to clean out the closet. Yeah. And hey, maybe Zabu wants to help. Hey, Zabumafu! Zabu's here. Before cleaning, he can start snacking. Let's see what the snack machines got for Zabu today. Bananas! Here you go, Zabu. Hey! Hey, buddy. No, no. <laughs> Just a little piece. You'll get sick if you eat that whole thing. <laughs> Zabu's really hungry today. Look at him go. <laughs> he loves it. I needed that. Thanks, guys. Now I am Vuki, Vuki, Vuki. So, Zabu, you want to help us clean out the closet? The closet? Well, sure, guys. For you, anytime, anywhere. What a lemur. Hey, and it looks like he wants to clean himself first. Yeah, he's giving himself the once over with the tooth comb. That's a lemur's way of cleaning up. And a lemur tooth combs every day. Yeah. There, all done. All right, let's go. Hey, Spring here. If you want to help, you're going to have to hurry up. Who knows if she'll ever finish, Zabu? The Spring hair's been grooming herself since we got here. And you know what? She's not alone. A lot of creatures groom themselves to get rid of the itch caused by fleas, mites, and other insects. Like this leopard. She keeps herself really clean, and her cub learns by watching Mom. Hey, Zabu, where are you going? Well, if I'm gonna help you, brothers, I need a bucket and a mop just like you guys. Where's my mop? Hmm? Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops! <laughs> now it's not just messy. <laughs> it's wet and messy. Oh, no. Now there's even more of a mess to clean up. Hey, this creature I saw today was digging and making a mess. Who could it be? Brown like mud with a roly poly body. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. animal. He had a flat nose and loved to splash in mud. <laughs> loving creature with babies. Do you know who she is? One big mess maker with five little ones right behind her. Making a lot of noise. <laughs> a wild boar and her piglets. Oh, Mangatsika, the mystery animals are here. Oh, oh. Come on in. I know it's a mess, but you can find your way through. Come on, everybody. Check out the boar. She has a waggy tail, pointy ears, a long sniffing snout, and a really big brain. Pigs are one of the smartest creatures in the creature world. Boars use their nose like a shovel to root around in everything. 
and look for food. Pigs eat almost everything, and they use their noses to dig around in all kinds of places, like in the ground for roots and bulbs, in water for larvae and small creatures, even in mud. Now that's what I call a messy eater. It looks like Animal Junction's gonna get messier and messier and messier. We're gonna need a lot of help with this mess. Well, the boars might help. I hope. No, wait, we're gonna need this broom if we're gonna clean up the place. Five little piglets who move like one pig, always together. And pig legs are great for running and charging through a swamp. Hey, instead of cleaning, the pigs are messing. These little guys keep stealing our broom. <laughs> we need the mop, too. <laughs> Important for cleaning up. I don't think the wild boars feel like cleaning. Brothers, it looks like they're getting the cloths and stuff even messier. Well, I have to give you guys names. Let's see, you made a big mess, so, uh, well, I'll call you Mama Boar, and uh, I'll call you Messier, Messiest, Messed Up, uh, and oh yeah, you little guy, you like to scratch. I'll call you Phil. <laughs> you know, Zob, I think the wild boars are just looking for something to eat. Oh, okay, I'll get them a snack from the snack machine. But hey, there's no wild boar food. Hey. There's no food at all. Whoa! Where did it all go? Whoa. It's Fling, the capuchin monkey. Oh. Hey, Fling! Oh. And he's flinging as much food as he can. Fling is the flingingest capuchin monkey Animal Junction's ever seen. <laughs> oh, so that's where all the food from the snack machine went. Oh. Yeah, Fling's been flinging it all over Animal Junction. There's food everywhere. And I think the wild boars are pretty happy about that. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a pretty good job of cleaning up. The food, that is. The rest of Animal Junction's still a mess. Yeah, but maybe after the wild boars find and eat all the food, it'll be easier for us to clean up the rest. Manga Zika, I want to look for food like a wild boar. I'm using my nose as a shovel. Hey. Hey, hubba hubba. I found a sweet potato. Good going, Zob. And Mess Up found something, too. An apple. Good find. Look at this little apple crunching face. Hey, where'd Phil go? Oh, there he is, scratching again. Messy eaters, huh? Hey, but there's nothing wrong with that. The mother has to find a lot of food to feed those five hungry mouths. And you know, in some years, she might have a litter of up to 10 piglets. Oh, Gatsika, that's a lot of piglets. Oh, yeah, and she has to be a great mom. And you know what she does when they're first born? She builds a nest of leaves and grass, and then she stays with those piglets every single minute for two weeks. Wow. After that, the piglets leave the nest and get introduced to the whole group. A group of wild boars is called a drift and can be made up of 20 sows plus their piglets. Talk about animal daycare. How about right there, Phil? Is that where you have an itch? Phil loves to be scratched. And there are lots of places to scratch yourself in Animal Junction. <laughs> Is it my imagination, or is Animal Junction getting messier by the second? Hey, Fling, what are you doing? He's still flinging things around. Yep, he loves to fling things. Some creatures sure make a mess when they eat, right, Fling? Nice toss. And some creatures like to jump around in a good old mess. <laughs> All this mess makes me think of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along, <laughs> leap, leap, when I bumped into my neighbor, Narchi. Oof! Oh, hi, Narchi. Hi, Zob. Oh, hi, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zob. Where are you going? I'm heading home, Zob. Move over. I'm heading home. Oh, hey, can I come over? Oh. Well, I've never even seen your home. Uh, no, no, no can do. Uh -huh. Why not? Uh, because. Why not? Because. But why huh? not? Why? Well, because my house is just too messy, okay? Uh huh? huh? So why doesn't Nachi clean it? Well, my nose does have a vacuum feature. Yeah. 
Well, okay, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of dirt down there. I, I don't know. Give it a try, Narchie. All right, stand aside. Coming uh, through. All right. <clears throat> and now, now, careful with the frag off. Oh, great job, Narch. Well, now uh, you can both come in. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, here I go. Oh, oh, right. after you, Zob. Well, here goes. Watch out. Yeah. Move. Oh. Yeah. Wow, this is a great underground house. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, come on, let's uh, race around my tunnels. Oh, oh good idea. Okay. Hey, wait for me. Leg. Right. Hey, where'd you guys go? Uh, the end. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, now sh use those noses to shovel everything into the closet. All this stuff, we got to get in there. I don't know how much cleanup help we're going to get from the wild boars. So, we may need a little extra help. Hey, brothers. What does this thingy do? It's a vacuum cleaner, Zob, with some special modifications. It's used to clean up, and to turn it on, you just flick the switch. Manga, Tsiga, then I'll use it to clean up Animal Junction with. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, this is fun! Look out, piggies! I'm cleaning up! Well, maybe if we tighten the vacuum gasket, oh, yeah. and I'll adjust the suction cord. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Hey, we just... Uh-oh. Is that a good sound? No way! I don't think so. <laughs> we'll never get the closet cleaned up at this rate. And now everybody's messier than ever. Well, it doesn't look like the wild boars mind at all. You're right, Zob. Wild boars are great messers. No use fighting it, brothers. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel boorish. How about you? Boorish. I feel boorish. Boorish. A messy boar with piglets going wild in the mud. Boarish! Hey, look. There's the drift of wild boar. Remember, they're the ones who help the mother boar look after her babies. Wow, there are a lot of them. Yeah. Hey, where are they going? <laughs> I guess it's time she had help with all her babies. Bye, wild boars. Now we really have some cleaning up ahead of us. Well, like we always say, Chris, a creature adventurer's got to do what a creature adventurer's got to do. Let's, Let's clean, clean it up. up. Here you go, Martin. Thanks, up. No problem. All right. Yeah. OK, guys, throw it in, and I'll help organize it. OK, uh, throw some stuff up. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You throw it in, guys. Yeah, that's it. Keep them coming. Oh, a boot. I know where the other boot to this goes. Down here, you go down here. Ah. Well, we're getting perfectly organized. Ah. We, did it. we finally cleaned up that mess. All right. Uh -huh. Great job, Zabu. Huh? Well, that was fun. Well, let's mess up Animal Junction again so we can clean up again. Uh, maybe tomorrow, Zabu. Oh, yeah, okay. maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming! Hit the dirt! Ah. Hey, it's Blink. The great horned owl. Hey, brothers, you ever notice how Blink is never messy? Well, her feathers are always clean. Yeah, most birds keep mm -hmm. themselves pretty clean, Zabu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to keep their feathers clean, in perfect condition for flying. Yeah. And look, she flew in with a message from the animal helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Aim here. I'm cleaning up Myrtle's litter box. This is her toilet, and she can't empty it herself, so I'm doing it for her. Every day I scoop out her poop, and every few days I throw out all the old litter and put in new stuff.
stinky work, but it's important and your cat will really appreciate it. Cats are clean animals and it's up to me to help her out by keeping her litter box fresh. Every creature is messy and clean in his own way. You know, that's got me thinking, bro. About what? About a trip? About a trip! Mm, to, to the, the closet! closet. Mm -hmm. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Let's check out our clean closet. It worked. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're Let's headed go. out the door. Bye, up. Hi. I guess I'll do some more cleaning. This looks like a great place for a snack. Yeah, and snack time is a great time to check out messy and clean creature behavior. All right, we're having lunch with the Lechway. Hey, how about right under that tree? Perfect. All right. Hey, Chris, a yellow-billed kite's joining us for lunch. Awesome. He's eating on the fly. See, he's got some food in his beak. Creatures eat different foods in different ways. But no matter how they do it, a lot of creatures get messy when they eat. Carnivores eat meat, so eating can be a pretty messy business for an African wild dog or a lion. When I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I like a lot of jelly on my sandwich. Whoa, too much. I like a lot of peanut butter on my sandwich. Well, maybe not that much. When you're really hungry, you can get carried away. Like this fervent monkey slurping up some juicy fruit. <laughs> what a mess! I always put too much jelly on my sandwich. I have too much in my sandwich. <laughs> Need some water? Here, Chris. Oh. <laughs> 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 Woo, we crack brothers get into messes in different ways. And we have different ways of getting out of them. Just like different animals have different ways of cleaning up after they eat. Like birds. Talk about a clean creature. Check out this hornbill. After he eats, the first thing he does is fly up to a tree and wax his beak. Waxing is when a bird wipes both sides of his beak on a branch after a meal. Hyenas have a different approach. They stick their faces in the mud. <laughs> they do that because the mud covers up all the blood so flies don't bother them, and then everything just flakes off when it dries in the sun. And out here on the African savanna, that doesn't take too long. So in a way, they get clean by first getting messier. It might look like this rhino is getting messy on purpose, because she is. Mud actually helps her keep cool and stops insects from biting her. Don't you just love having lunch in Africa? I do. <laughs> hey, where do you want to do lunch tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. How about uh, along the banks of the Yanks? How about the Himalayas? Hey, or or the Tons of Oh, that's the cut. <laughs> oh, I wonder what Salvu's doing in there. Let's find out. Come on. No, no more. Okay, I, okay, no more. I, that's enough. It's Chris oh, and Martin. Wow. That tickles us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what have you guys been doing, Zabu? Just cleaning and grooming and playing with my tail. <laughs> we were wrestling so much, we didn't have time to clean up the closet. Well, you know, lion cubs usually spend most of their time sleeping and hunting. But when they're not doing that, they're cleaning and grooming. Big cats use their tongues and paws to clean themselves up. They groom each other, too. A lion pride is a family, and grooming each other keeps them all together. I guess he's cleaning me almost as much as he's tickling me. <laughs> Most animals groom themselves somehow. A bird keeps his feathers clean by preening. And baboons help each other get rid of fleas. Even a baby baboon gets into the action. Oh, I guess all that grooming made them sleepy. Now that he's asleep, we can take a close look at his paws. Take a look at these paw pads. They help a lion walk softly and stalk quietly. Now, look at his claws. They're retractable. That means they come out and go back in. 
come out and go back in. Now let's compare claws. Spring hares have incredible claws on their front feet and their hind feet, but not retractable like a lion's. Those claws are great for digging. Leap like a spring hare. Whoa, the obstacle course. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's tough to leap like a spring hare through all that mess. Yeah, but spring hare's not messy anymore. She's finished cleaning herself. <laughs> not yet, Zabu. The spring hare likes to clean herself all the time. And did you know there are a lot of birds who spend a lot of time cleaning other creatures? Like oxpeckers in Africa, they eat insects off of water buffalo, rhinos, and even kudus. Oxpeckers get a meal, and the other creatures get groomed. In the ear, on the back, oxpeckers clean all over. The nap's over. It's time for more playing. Lions have to learn how to tug, because when they're all around their food, they tug and rip off pieces. And when you eat with the pride of lions, you have to tug hard and eat fast. When you're a creature living free and in the wild, there are a lot of ways to get messy. <laughs> so they've come up with a lot of ways to keep clean. These little wrasses actually clean other fish. They're picking parasites off the big fish's gills. And remoras are always hanging around and cleaning up after sharks. The cub is really chowing down. Yeah, he must be hungry. <laughs> and you know what? He's a messy eater. Hey, Martin, I don't think he's Vuki yet. So how about some more? More lion food coming up. Oh, there you go. Vuki, <laughs> Vuki, Vuki. Not yet. Hey, I wonder if he's going to clean himself after, because he sure is a messy eater. That reminds me of one time in Sabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap when all of a sudden I saw Goobel. Hello, Goobel. Hi, Zabu. How are you? Oh. Goobel said. Well, I'm sad, Zabu. My Goobel belly is empty, and I can't find any Goobel bears to fill it anywhere. Oh. Well, I know where some Goobel berries are. Follow me. Oh, so I led Goobel oh, okay. to a Goobleberry oh, patch. Oh, 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 Come on. I'm coming. See? Oh, 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 oh Goobleberries. Oh, Goobel was so happy to see a Goobleberry patch, he popped the berries into his mouth as fast as he could. Oh, oh good, oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry I'm being such a messy eater, Zabu. Well, when I eat Goobleberries, I just can't help with they're so good. Oh, that's oh, okay, Goobel. Goobleberries are a little oh, messy to eat. Okay, there, Goobleberry. I'll help clean you off. Oh, they're oh, good as oh, new. Good. Once Goobel's oh. belly was full, he took a nap. Oh. And he looked so comfortable. Oh, well, I took a nap too. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, the end. So, um, <laughs> did you like my story? You did? Oh, good. Well, um, it gave the brothers time to clean up. Bye, Martin. Bye, Chris. Hey, Zabu, so what do you think, messy or clean? Well, being clean's pretty fun, especially when lion cubs give you a bath. <laughs> well, you gotta admit, Zabu, being messy's pretty fun, too. Yeah, well, everything's pretty fun in Animal Junction. <laughs> oh, yeah. This animal is a friend of mine, from the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah. Well, I gotta go, so I'll see you later. Bye, brothers. All right, Zob, way to go. We all worked together and finally got Animal Junction cleaned up. <laughs> hey, Chris, hear that? Whoa! Windstorm at 6 o'clock! Whoa! Brother! Whoa! This is like surfing! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe my mind! Animal Junction!
kitchen's all messy again. What a disaster. What a mess. Not again. I gotta go, brothers. Hey, wait, Sabu. Are you gonna stay and help us clean up again? Hmm? Oh. Martin, you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Clean up tomorrow. Check out Warthogs today. See you later. My name is Cordy. This is my pet pig, Miss Babe. World of Legs. Hey, Chris, I can see the junction. We're almost there. It's a good thing because my legs are just about to give out. Hey, we just hiked in from Botswana. And human legs are made for long walks, but not that long. Yeah, it's not like we're African wild dogs who can lope around for hours. These long-legged wild dogs can go 25 miles a day without taking a break. Yeah, but I know one thing for sure. My legs are tired of walking. Tell me about it. Hey, you hear that? It's Zabu. Let's call him. Zabu! Hey, Zabumafu! Look at those looper legs in action. Whoa! Zabu's here! And he still has a lot of juice in those legs. Whoop! <laughs> Zabu, how many leaps does it take before your legs get tired out? Well, no chat until he's had his snack. So let's see what we have today. Garbanzo beans! Hey, and you know, speaking of legs, garbanzo beans come from the family of plants called legumes. Yeah, legumes. Hey, Zabu, how about some legumes? <laughs> These will power up your lemur legs. He likes those. Yeah. I love legumes. They give me new energy in my legs. Well, now I can leap on leaping. <laughs> I mean, keep on leaping. Let's see, uh, 504. 504? What do you mean, 504? Well, hey, brothers. Well, that's how many leaps I can make before I get tired and have to have another snack. Wow. You know, here, I'll show you. 505, 506, 507. <sighs> legs are my life. Watch this. I'm going to leap clear across Animal Junction. Mm. Good takeoff, got good lift. Oh, wait a second, I'm coming in short, headed straight for the... Oh. <laughs> Pond. <laughs> nice landing, Sabu. Hey, there's a creature tickling me. <laughs> Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal <laughs> who I did see. <laughs> Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> he was a big round head and a tail. Swimming in the water. <laughs> Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Bogotska! Bogotska! Animal! He had funny fan shaped things on his head, but no legs. This mystery. He was a water living, no legged creature. Do you know who he is? Let's see who it could be. <laughs> a, tiger a tiger salamander larva. A tiger salamander larva? But where are his legs? Come on, leg seeker. <laughs> Mr. Animal's here. <laughs> where are his legs? Well, he's just a head and a tail, that's all. Have you ever seen a creature that's just a head and a tail? Where are his legs? His legs, they're on the way, Zabu. His legs just haven't started growing in yet. But they'll start growing in pretty soon. Actually, it looks like they're popping through. Look, two front legs. Do you know what they're gonna look like when they fully grow? Yeah, tiger legs. That's it, long, stripy legs. They'll be tiger legs for a tiger <laughs> salamander larva. Well, that's what he's called, right? A tiger <laughs> salamander larva? Close well, enough. Well, then he'll have tiger legs for a tiger salamander larva. Woo-ha! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's right. Salamander larva will grow four legs, and they'll be furry and orange with black stripes. Yeah. Woo-ha! <laughs> Just like a tiger's. You mean like him? Manga Tsika, the tigers are here. And those legs will be perfect for tiger salamander larva to have. Yeah, tiger legs are amazing, and they're built for three things. One is stalking, 
two is charging, and three is pouncing. Check out how these legs work. First, her powerful legs launch her with a burst of power. Her back legs push her forward. Her front legs stretch out and grab the ball. But the ball squirms loose. Her front legs keep grabbing, and then... <laughs> and she pops it again. Tiger legs are amazing, but they're not the only wildcats with great legs. I mean, let's face it, we live in a world of legs. And one creature with awesome legs is the cheetah. Her legs make her the fastest land mammal on the planet. Her long legs stretch out for a stride of 20 feet. And she can run. She can go 70 miles per hour, as fast as a car on a highway, faster than your bike on a hill, but she can only run that fast in short spurts. Then she has to rest. Look who's here. Hi, Zipper. Zabu, see her long, thin legs? They don't weigh very much, so that makes her fast. The lighter the legs, the faster the cat. Wow, very impressive, Zipper. Do you want to see his amazing legs? Uh-huh. Uh, Zipper, can you stand up and walk around a bit? They want to see your amazing legs. Thanks, Zipper. Wow, tall legs, long, tall legs for running and leaping. Hey. Maybe that's what kind of legs the tiger salamander's gonna grow. Long, tall legs like a cheetah. That's it, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. The salamander larva will huh? grow long, furry, spotted legs and be able to run like the wind, yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny to see such long, long legs on such a little creature. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> but I don't think this little guy is ever gonna have legs that long. Think we should give Zabu a clue? No. Well, I gotta figure it out without any help. The answer has to be 100% lemur. I gotta figure it out on my own. Good luck. <gasps> That's it. You'll have lots of legs, like a millipede. So you think he'll have 200 insect legs? Yeah. Wow. Look at the wave of legs. Oh yeah, wavy legs. Hmm, That's it. Salamander larva will grow 200 legs like a millipede. Lots of wavy legs. I think I figured it out. Hi, Bigfoot. Or he might have legs for jumping. Legs just like a kangaroo. <laughs> Pretend you have kangaroo legs. Put your feet together and hop. You got it. Kangaroos always keep their legs together when they hop. Bouncing brothers, kangaroo legs are cool. <laughs> a kangaroo's tail is full of muscle, and it's important too. A kangaroo uses his tail like a third leg a lot of the times. They use it for walking, they use it for hopping as balance, and they use it to stand on when they're kickboxing. I almost forgot, kickboxing! That's another thing kangaroos use their legs for. All right, let's see how far a kangaroo can jump. Whoa, three and a half feet. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, Chris. All right, my turn. Great job, Chris. About six feet. I jumped further than a kangaroo. Well, yeah, but Bigfoot's just a baby kangaroo. You're right, Zabu. When Bigfoot grows into an adult red kangaroo, he'll be able to jump over 20 feet. Mungatsika! That's a lot of jumping. And it's all in the legs. <laughs> yeah, 20 feet's a long jump. Do you want to see how far that is? Sure. Let's measure, Chris. All right, starting right here. Five. Ten. Fifteen. And 20! Mangatsika! 20 feet! That's far! Clear across Animal Junction. That's how far an adult red kangaroo can jump. Amazing! Uh, what do you think about that? Huh. Hmm. Of course! These are the legs. Salamander larva's gonna grow jumping kangaroo legs. Why didn't I think of that before? Because before you were thinking tiger legs. And then you thought cheetah legs. Kangaroo legs. Yeah. That's the problem. My mind can't decide. There are so many legs. Thick, heavy rhino legs. Long, lean, speedy legs. 
fast, furry tarantula legs. All these legs remind me of the first time I met Phoebe and her crazy legs in Zabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When all of a sudden, I bumped into Narchi. Oh, hi, Narchi. Oh, hi, Zabu. Uh, well, great to see you. Hey, uh, you want to play uh, Goobleberry Ball? Here. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, sure, I said. Oh, so okay, we played. I threw the goobleberry ball to Narchi, <laughs> and he <laughs> threw it back to me. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> hey, Zabu, catch this. Okay. It's my super duper double looper. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That was our only goobleberry. Well, how are we going to play now? And then suddenly, oof, huh? the what? goobleberry oh. blew right back oh. to us. Hey, where did that come from? Yeah, who blew that goobleberry? Nobody. Nobody? Well, okay, then. Who threw it? Me. Who's me? Me. Huh? Yeah, who's me? Me, Phoebe. I oh, caught it. Hey. Here's all. Huh? Uh, what up, Phoebe's long legs? We're great for playing goobleberry ball. Uh, Stay and play with us, Phoebe. I'd love to. Uh, let's roll back, Phoebe. <laughs> so we played. And every time the ball splashed in the water, <laughs> Phoebe used her long legs to throw it back to us. And we played goobleberry catch all day long. Whoa, nice one. The end. That was a great story, Zabu. And he just talked about more creature legs. Huh. Underwater legs. Like an octopus's tentacles. That's what her legs are called, tentacles. And she uses those tentacles to move around. And see those suction cups on the bottom? Those grab and hold. Don't forget about crab legs. She has different legs for different things. Her back legs are for walking and swimming, and her front legs have claws for protection. Do you want to hear something amazing? Some water creatures like whales and these dolphins have fins and tails where legs used to be. You see, millions of years ago, dolphins' ancestors started spending more time in the water and their legs turned into fins and tails. Yeah, we live in a world of legs. But I still don't know what kind of legs tiger salamander larva is gonna grow. And that makes me feel leggish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel leggish. How about you? Leggish. I feel leggish. Leggish. I'm a leggy, leggy lizard with a long tongue, too. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at all these legs. With so many legs around, I'm confused about what kind of legs the tiger salamander larva is gonna grow. Do you know? Well, I need a clue. Duck. Duck. Oh, you mean legs with web feet, like a duck. Hmm. That's right. Maybe the salamander larva will grow big webbed duck feet. Well, he's in the water, so that makes sense. Yeah, paddling water legs. That must be it. No, I said duck. Like incoming duck. You mean like a duck hawk duck? Yeah, that kind of duck. Yeah. Duck! Huh? Incoming! Duck! Oh, they meant that kind of a duck. <laughs> Hi, sticky feet. Huh. I'd recognize those talons sticking into my head anywhere. Well, why do you have to hang on so hard? It's because peregrine falcons, like sticky feet, have such strong, powerful legs. And it's those legs that power the falcon's strong grip. Legs are amazing things. Wow. Hey, and it looks like Amy tripped over some cool creature legs. Uh-oh, there's a daddy long leg spider. We better move her so she doesn't get hurt. As soon as you see those eight skinny legs, you know it's a daddy long leg spider. It's so cool to watch her walk around. Some spiders will bite you when you pick them up, but not at daddy long legs. She won't bite, but sometimes she'll ooze out some liquid that's smelly. So if a bird picks her up, he'll get a mouthful of that stinky stuff. Just think what great skippers we'd be if we had eight legs, like a daddy long leg spider. You want to see lots of long legs? You know what I'm thinking, bro? I know what you're thinking. Africa! All right! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. 
Next now we're down. Two brother. Two brother stuff and split. Hey! You're right! Wonder where I thought I said To the creatures! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. While they're gone, I'll try and figure out what kind of legs the tiger salamander larva's gonna grow. <laughs> if you want to check out an amazing world of legs, come to Africa! Legs on the move. Giraffe's long legs give them a huge stride when they run. And look who's poking around in the water, a black winged stilt. I love the backwards bending legs of wading birds. What looks like their knee joint is actually their ankle joint. See it? Compare your ankle to her ankle. Now, a flamingo is a wading bird, too, and her long legs make it easy for her to walk around in the water looking for food. She eats crustaceans, like shrimp. And get this, the more shrimp a flamingo eats, the pinker she is. How about those tree trunk-like legs of hippos? Those legs have to support up to 7,000 pounds. Rhinos aren't far behind. They have to support almost 4,000 pounds and have enough juice to charge. Elephant legs support the most weight of all, up to 13,000 pounds. To this spotted hyena, these legs look like tree trunks. Legs tell you a lot about a creature and his lifestyle. And for a lot of creatures, legs are survival. <laughs> you got me. Now we know what an impala feels like. Legs are life to an impala. She has to outrun a lot of predators. If something happens to her legs, she's in trouble. Wow. And an impala's legs not only run fast, they make huge leaps over logs and tall grass. I gotta try it. I do. To run like an impala, you have to zig. And zack, and leap, and jump, and kick. Chris, these light feet are hard to keep up with. I know, but we gotta go faster. You know what they say about the slowest creatures in the herd. <laughs> Yipes. But I've got an idea. If you want to know what it's like to have the running, jumping, zigzagging, high kicking legs of an impala, think of it this way. Imagine that we're impala, and these wheels are our legs, and there's a predator after us. Now imagine if suddenly our legs disappear. Uh-oh. Martin, lions. Uh-oh. It's hunting time. They're coming in. Oh, no. I really wish we had legs. Yeah, you can see why legs are really important for impalas and gazelles. Yikes. Gazelle will use their legs to get out of here. But what about us? How about this? Now let's imagine that our impala legs reappear. Yeah. Yeah. Legs, legs are life. life. All right, legs, pedal us home. Well, when are we talking to now? Yeah. Let's find out. Yeah, they'll be here soon. Well, there they are. Zabu, what are you up to now? Well, I'm hanging out with my spotted, long-bodied, short-legged friend. That's Martin and Chris. Well, they like to walk on two legs most of the time. Hard to believe, but true. Oh, and you, and you know what? If I spill itching powder on them, <laughs> Then they scratch with all their legs. A lot of creatures use legs to scratch. Everybody has different legs. <laughs> Hi. You like it here in Animal Junction? Yeah. Hmm? It's full of all different climbers and runners and, and all different creatures with different legs. Oh, you want to play? All right, let's go. Look at those short little legs. They're short legs, but they can really move. Great idea. Let's all use our legs. I'll leap and climb with mine. <laughs> Check out these short climbing legs. This is a Janet. She is a spectacular climber. She moves through the tree limbs with such ease. And part of it is because of her retractable claws. The claws come out when she wants to dig into the tree branches and then go back in when she doesn't need to. Janets have such good balance. They can walk out on some of the smallest tree branches. Janets have really neat markings around their eyes. 
Genids like to come out at night so they see really well in the dark. Like most night creatures, her eyes are really big to let more light in. This Janet is an amazing creature, and you'll never guess who she's related to. Popcorn the Binturong. Except she's a lot heavier. <laughs> a Binturong and a Janet come from the same family, called Viveridae, found mostly in Asia and Africa. And like the Janet, the Binturong spends a lot of time up there in the trees. She's in the same family and has the same short, climbing legs, but there are a lot of differences. First of all, she's totally black, no spots at all. Look at these claws. They're longer claws and they're not retractable. Another similarity between these two cousins are their long whiskers. But you know what? The Binturong has an added climbing advantage over the Jenny. This prehensile tail. A prehensile tail is a tail that can grab onto things. It's like having another leg. <laughs> what a face. Check it out, she's looking for a place to sleep. Is that comfortable, Popcorn? All right, you just hang out there. Oh, I'm a little tired myself. Maybe a nap's a good idea. Good thinking. <laughs> I love legs. I could explore the world of legs forever, but there's one thing I've got to know. I've got to see if the larva's growing any legs yet. What kind will they be? Let's see what's happening with the tiger salamander larvae. Well, what kind of legs has he grown? Nothing. They're still just little stubs. Well, it takes a few days for a tiger salamander's legs to grow, and even longer to become a full-grown salamander. Yeah, that takes a whole summer. Huh? I can't wait that long. Oh, I'm leaving back to Madagascar tonight. Well, it's a good thing we're in Animal Junction, where sometimes things happen a little faster. Oh. <gasps> Check it out. A salamander starts out as an egg. After about a month, he hatches in the water. He breathes with gills like a fish, as we see him now. Only his gills are on the outside of his body, not on the inside like a fish. See those feathery things? Those are the gills. Manga, Zika. He grows bigger and bigger and changes. And before long, he grows legs. After a few months, he leaves the water and crawls up on land, where his short, crawly legs are exactly what he needs. Short, crawly legs. You've got really nice legs, Tiger Salamander. And I should know, because I'm a leg guy. <laughs> <laughs> and these legs are perfect for a Tiger Salamander's lifestyle. That's because Tiger Salamanders live underground. And when you live underground, you need short legs. Uh -huh. Oh, look, he's looking for a place to burrow. Yep. He's going underground. Once the tiger salamander goes underground, he uses his short, crawly legs to dig tunnels and crawl through them. These legs are perfect for underground-dwelling salamanders. And underground is where they can find earthworms to eat. Reminded me of one time in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into, oof. <laughs> well, I didn't know who I bumped into until she pulled her head out of the ground. It was Wiggy Waxwing slurping up root noodles. Hi, Wiggy, I said. Hi, Zabu. What was the root noodles? Wiggy was wigging out all over, gobbling up root noodles. <laughs> Go, Wiggy! Until she found a root noodle that wasn't a root noodle at all. It was baby Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Wiggy, what a play! Wiggy was so full of root noodles that all she wanted to do was slide down baby Zabumafuasaurus over and over. <laughs> So we slid down baby Zabumafuasaurus all day. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yep. We live in a world of legs. Yep. 
This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today Okay, legs. Take me home. Bye, buddy. Bye, brothers. Look at those legs leap. <laughs> and we hope your legs take you on some great adventures. See you, everybody. See you next time. Hi, my name is Allie, and this is Rosie. Powerhouse. These are some powerful waves, Martin. You said it, Chris. But I caught one. It looks like a little one, but it might be even too powerful for me. <laughs> awesome, too. So the wind was really whipping up those waves. Yeah, and that one wipeout I had was intense. Talk oh. about intense. Oh, oh. oh. Hey, what a powerhouse! <laughs> He's an English mastiff, and he's after our ball. <laughs> Pass it. English mastiffs are such powerhouse, it's really hard to get a ball away from one. Oh, got it. <laughs> this dog, ooh, this dog weighs 205 pounds. Got it. <laughs> Not only is he powerfully strong, he has a powerful slobber. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm covered in it. Oh. 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 Hey, Chris, how does an English mastiff leave Animal Junction? How? Any way he wants. Oh. <laughs> hey, let's call Zabu. Right. right. Zabu-mafu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Hey, hey Zabu. Zabu. Want to play? All right. And I'm gonna get Zabu's snack. Woo! <laughs> Powerful grip. <laughs> How about apples? <laughs> All right. Whoa. Zabu loves apples. There you go. No, not the whole thing. That's too much. Here, wait, wait. Wait, here, I cut a piece for you. There you go, here. Oh, you want that big piece? Up. Is, is that where you uh, stand on a big stick and a wave comes in and crashes into you and knocks you off into the water? Yeah! Yeah, surfing, yeah! It's easy, easy, easy! Hey, Zabu, you're looking pretty good! I'm a super surfing lemur, riding the powerful waves! Watch me! I'm surfing, yeah! Shh! Want to make Zabu feel like he's really surfing? Yeah, you're really getting the hang of it! Huh? Woo! Ah! Ah, gotcha! Missed me! <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> I uh, meant to do that. Talk about powerful waves! I need a towel. Oh, oh, my mind just remembered. I saw a creature who was powerful as a surfing wave. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? She had soft, thick fur all over her powerful body. Oh, oh. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Bogotska! Bogotska! Animal! And on her face, she had a pink nose and long whiskers. And her body was covered with spots. Who could it be? This animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? A furry, powerful, spotted
wanted creature. Do you know who she is? Okay, let me think about this one. Soft, thick fur, lots of spots, one power-packed creature. Who could this mystery animal be? Any ideas? What? A snow leopard. Wow. Of course, a snow leopard. Wow, mystery animals here. Uh, uh, hello, fellow snow creature. Yeah, hi. Snow leopard? Manga Tsika, a snow leopard. Hello, snow leopard. Wow, that's one powerhouse. And she needs powerful muscles to get around in the mountains of the Himalayas where she lives. Well, she's a powerhouse. I want to be a powerhouse, too. <laughs> Stop him. I can't be powerful like her. Well, for one thing, Zabu, it helps to have a little weight behind you. <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> a snow leopard can weigh over 100 pounds, which doesn't make her the biggest cat in the world, but she has a lot of power in those muscles. A snow leopard is so powerful, she'll go for prey three times bigger than she is. <clears throat> Manga Zika. Well, that's kind of like me hunting you. Uh-oh. I'm gonna hunt like a snow leopard. Brothers, watch out for the powerful hunting lemur! <laughs> I'm a powerful hunting lemur! <laughs> I'll use my secret weapon against this powerhouse. Take off! <laughs> I'm supposed to be a powerful hunting lemur! Well, that's pretty good, Zob, huh? but you're still not as powerful as the snow leopard. Maybe I'll find some easier prey. Where's Martin? There! <laughs> Here comes the powerful lemur. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> I meant to do that. This time I'll really get him. You all right, Sam? I, I, I meant to do that. Really, I did. <laughs> I'm okay. I want to be a powerhouse like a snow leopard. Yeah, I do. <laughs> How can I get powerful like you, Snowstorm? Hey, I just named you. I'm Zabu, and you're Snowstorm. Well, show me how I can be powerful too. Well, what do you have that I don't have? If you want to know the secret to a snow leopard's power, you have to get to know her better. She not only has power, she has speed. She can tag you in a fraction of a second. Another speedy mountain cat is the mountain lion. Just like the snow leopard, she can get around easily in her rugged mountain home. And even in the trees. But how can I be a powerhouse like Snowstorm? How? To be a powerhouse, you've got to start eating like a powerhouse. That's easy. How's that for powerhouse eating? Hey, uh, Snowstorm, you want some yummy green leaves? That's where I get my power from. Sorry, Zob. Snowstorm has a whole different kind of food. She's a carnivore. That means she eats meat. Oh, I like goobleberries myself. Uh -huh. You see, all big cats have to hunt for their food, Zabu, like an African leopard. No plants for her. She eats the plant eaters. I guess I won't be eating with Snowstorm then, because I eat leaves. Huh? Do you know who that is? Another powerhouse. It's Toothbrush the Elephant. Hey, Toothbrush, it's good to see you. <laughs> hey, Toothbrush, how have you been? Hey, brothers, maybe Toothbrush can eat with me. He sure looks hungry. And most of the time he is. A powerful creature like an elephant needs a lot of food to feed those big muscles. He'll even knock down trees to get his next meal. Wow, hey Toothbrush, can you get us some leaves? What a powerhouse. What leaves? Leaves for snacking. Uh, okay, I think that's enough. Oh. Too many leaves to eat. Not for an elephant. Elephants eat over 300 pounds of vegetation a day. That's a lot of food. So why don't you get started, Zabu? Let's see if you can eat as much as toothbrush. It's power eat yeah. 
they just keep on eating. Oh, we have a winner! <laughs> mm. Toothbrush out ate me. I can't eat the food that Snowstorm eats. And I can't eat as much as Toothbrush eats. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a powerhouse. But I'm trying. Hey, don't worry, Zob. All creatures are powerful in their own way. A chameleon's quick tongue. Cheetah's speedy legs. Kangaroo's strong hops. Bighorn's rock-solid head. Giraffe's long-reaching necks. Sharp shark teeth. Strong skunk spray. And leopard power leaps. They're all powerhouses! Manga Tsika, look how high Snowstorm is. A snow leopard's really powerful when she's way up high because she can jump down and crash on her prey. That brings all her muscle and weight into its most powerful use. Wow, did you see that? A snow leopard can leap really high, up to 20 feet. That's like jumping up here in a single bound. And a snow leopard can leap really far, up to 50 feet. That's even farther than I can swing on this vine! Martin, look out for the... Oh! Bushes? Where'd these go? Hey, toothbrush. <laughs> Thanks, toothbrush. <gasps> My mind just got an idea. I didn't do so well hunting like a powerhouse, but I'll bet I could leap like a powerhouse. Hey, brothers, watch me leap with the power of a snow leopard. <laughs> I'm leap, leap, leaping. <laughs> Let's leap like a snow leopard. <laughs> Zabu, that's your power. Leaping. It is. <laughs> I found my power, the power of leaping. I feel it. I feel snow leopardish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel snow leopardish. How about you, snow leopardish? I feel snow leopardish. Ha! Snow leopardish. Ow! I'm a big leaping prowler, and power is my game. Snow leopardish. <laughs> my good Sika, all this leaping around reminds my mind of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping uh -oh. along. Leap, leap. Leap when I got hit by a snowball. Oof. <laughs> Since its little sisters got Google, then noggin drill, and sigh. Hey, who turned out the lies? So I said, Come on, everybody, let's hide behind the rocks. I'm wet. I'm uh, cold. Uh, yeah, they're getting us good, Zabu. What do we do now, huh? Anybody got a, any ideas? Huh? Then my mind got a manga tzika idea. Let's hide behind baby Zabumafuasaurus. His skin is so thick, snowballs won't bother him. He'll protect us. Come on, hide everybody. Ah, oh, can't get me now. Oh, well, the Western Front. A safe little drill. Oh, can it be? Oh. Oh, so we were safe behind baby Zabumafuasaurus. The end. <laughs> so everybody in Zabu Land is some kind of a powerhouse. Not just you and me, huh, Snowstorm? Like Martin Sneakers. Hey. <coughs> now that is one powerful smell. Pee you. <laughs> hey, why is everybody leaving? Your stinky shoes are chasing them all away. <laughs> They're not stinky. Come on, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't smell anything. Snowstorm's got the right idea. She's not sticking around for that smell. Hey, guys, come back! See you later, Snowstorm! That's goodbye. From one powerhouse to another. And here comes another incredible powerhouse. Incoming! Duck! It's Sticky Feet. The Peregrine Falcon. And a Peregrine Falcon is one of the most powerful flyers. And he brought a message from the animal helpers. Let's see what they're up to. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. A horse is a really powerful animal. 
Just think of all the muscles it takes to run like that. Even with somebody on his back. The wild ponies of Chincoteague Island are amazing. They are really powerful creatures. They may not look powerful when they're babies, but pretty soon they're running as fast as these adult males. And they have to be fast and powerful to protect their herd. What an amazing powerhouse. Bye, Audrey. Bye, Blue. Now that's horsepower. Those animal helpers are Mangatsika. There's powerhouse creatures everywhere. You're right, Zabu. And Chris, what do you say we go out into the wild and check out some more powerhouse creatures? You're on. Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. To the closet! <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the Let's closet go. and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu. We'll be back. Bye, brothers. Okay, so you want to meet some more powerhouses? Let's ride the enormously powerful elephant. To find the super strong tiger. Want to see how strong she is? Watch this. Whoa! She can do this easy! <laughs> now that's power. And an elephant is so strong that Chris the Mahout, that's the elephant guy, and I can all climb up onto her back to go looking for tigers. All set, Chris. Ready, Martin. Going up. Now that's power. This is amazing. We're as high as the monkeys in the trees. Like those langur monkeys. And the parakeets, too. Hey, you see any tigers yet, Chris? Yeah, Martin. Tigers, four o'clock. Really? Where? The elephant found a mother tiger and two cubs. Yeah, the mother must have just burned them out of the den. They can't be more than three months old. <laughs> wow, we got really lucky, Chris. Yeah, we sure did. Great find, girl. Look, they're nursing. These tiger cubs drink a lot of their mother's milk at this age, and they're probably even just starting to eat some meat that the mom brings home. <laughs> this elephant did a great job finding tigers. I think she needs a power bath. When an elephant gets hot, she heads right for the water. On a hot Indian day, you can't beat a cool swim. <laughs> and an elephant can hang out in the water for a long, long time. But now it's time for us to get going. All right, girl, it's time to go. Come on, girl. Come on, it's time to go. Oh, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> Let me try. Okay, come on out. Come on out. Come on out. <laughs> that is one powerful trunk. <laughs> Chris, I need some help. I'm on my way. Come on out. Come on, you ready? Come on. Oh! <laughs> When you're a powerhouse creature and you want to take a bath, I guess you stay as long as you want. Hey, a tortoise! Well, we're back, Sabu. But are we ever tired? Hee <laughs> you! But my nose sure isn't. Smell who's visiting Animal Junction. Oh, it must be a mustelid, but what kind? A wolverine. It's a wolverine. Yeah. Wolverine likes to travel far, far, far. Sometimes he likes to pop back into Animal Junction. And it's a great thing he does, because that gives us a chance to check out one of the most powerful creatures around. That's right. A wolverine is one of the strongest creatures in North America. He can flip a rock no problem. And his teeth can bite through anything. Look at the way he snaps that thick root with his powerful teeth. Wow, what a powerhouse. 
pound for pound. Wolverines are so tough. I mean, they can bring down prey five times their size. And it's not only their muscles that are powerful, it's their smell too. Wolverines have a really strong musky odor. I thought it was you. I thought it was you. Oh. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's the, the Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> Brothers, look who else is here today. Whoa, a monitor lizard. And this one's a water monitor lizard. And a Komodo dragon is the only lizard bigger than a water monitor. You wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of this power-packed creature, because he can whip you with his tail for defense, and that tail packs a powerful punch. That's because when some lizards fight, they bite with their sharp teeth and then whip each other with their tails. Hey, you mean like this? No. <laughs> How's that? Sorry, Zom. I just don't think lemur tails have the power for whipping. <sighs> well, at least I have the power for leaping. <laughs> wow. Let's walk like a monitor. These short, powerful legs are good for climbing, digging, running, and swimming, too. Monitor lizards love the water, and they're great swimmers. These guys can swim for miles and miles and stay underwater for about 30 minutes. That's a long time. You can always find a water monitor near some kind of water. It doesn't matter if it's fresh water or salt water, these lizards are at home in both. Another power swimmer is the American crocodile. Just like the water monitor, she's at home in fresh water and salt water. Whoa! Hey, Kinkajou, what you doing? <laughs> a Kinkajou has a prehensile tail that can grab onto things, and it's really useful for reaching out to fruit that's just out of reach. She just grabs onto a tree with her strong tail and grabs the fruit with her two front paws. Watch how she uses her paws like we use our hands. Look at that. He chews upside down. First, they bite off a piece, right? And then they put it in their mouth and tilt their head sideways so the juice runs down easier. That's the kinkajou way of eating. Right? Hey, another one. How's your banana up there? Monitor lizard has more muscle power than I'll ever have. And kinkajous will grow up to be some of the strongest nighttime tree scrambling fruit eaters there ever were. And I'll never be as powerful as Wolverine. But the thing is, everybody's a powerhouse in their own way. Well, they're powerhouses in their own way, and I'm a powerhouse in my own way. Well, I'm the best leaper around, uh, well, me and Snowstorm, that is. Remember Snowstorm? <laughs> this reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was <laughs> leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When I leaped right into Bugly. Whoa! Whoa! Coming down. Whoa. Hey, now, what's happened there, Zabu? How'd you get so high in the sky? I told Bugly that I was power leaping on my super <laughs> lemur legs. If you got them, use them. That's what I say. If it's fun, do it again and do it right away. Come on. Okay. <laughs> whoa. 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 Oof. Whoa. whoa. We fell into a coconut bush. And everyone knows how yummy boconuts are. Well, we wanted to eat some, but we couldn't open them. All of a sudden, I felt something. And then this funny blob with eyes floated up to say hello. It was Phoebe and all her crazy legs. Oh, hi, Phoebe. Hey, Phoebe. Hi, Bugly. <laughs> Want me to crack your boconut? Oh, thanks, hey, Phoebe. Good idea. Oh, oh thanks. Hey, so Bugly and Art ate <laughs> boconuts all day long. The end. <laughs> so, Zabu, are you tired from all that leaping in Zabu land? Well, don't forget, here with all my powerhouse friends. So you're not tired? Oh, no, I'm just getting started. I'm going to keep on leaping so I can be the most manga seeker leaper ever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, keep on leaping, lemur. Hey, Chris. Yeah, Zabu. Uh, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a lemur? I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, what? A leaper who can jump wherever he wants, because no one's going to tell him not to. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Zob. <laughs> Good one, Zob. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've 
all the different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping <laughs> by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. One more powerful leap. Woo. See you later, brothers. I'm gonna keep on leaping all the way home. See you later, boys. Hey, it looks like everybody else is powering out of here too. We're gonna power out of here on our mountain bikes. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and this is my pet fish, Nestor, and I love him. Mm -hmm.